for Miami to live up to the season they are supposed to have. This is the one you have to have. And Katie George, year number six of college football for De'Ara King. The comeback from the torn right ACL. Finish, finish. Let's see if that's what this offense can do here. King, first down, wrapped up, tackle for a loss. Panashuk gets in there against De'Ara King. For a loss of three. Defensive front of Michigan State has been solid the game of the season. And this is complete for a first down, and it goes to Will Mallory. Third and three. King, sprint right, and an easy pitch in catch to a wide open Mike Pearl Harley for a first down. Easy completion on the rub. Tempo now, King again, they pick up the pressure and a good strike to Rambo on the near side. What do they do when they get there? King. Fumbles the ball. Ball is still loose and on the ground. It is recovered by the Spartans. There's a good decision by De'Ara King to get north and south, but how about the recovery there by Petrowski? Grabs that right arm. Wiggins, the wide receiver, number eight, almost kind of falls asleep. He thinks that Restrepo is going to grab it. He doesn't. Wiggins is kind of standing around. A great hustle by Crouch to pounce on the. Peyton Thorne, sophomore quarterback. Kenneth Walker, he has been the spotlight so far, Katie. And it would prepare him for that next level test. Uh, he has been outstanding early on. Thorne taken down. Wayne Monsteed, who's in for the injured starter, Keontre Smith, with the sack. This is a thing of beauty. How about this rush by the Miami Hurricanes? You see the outside defender rush underneath by the lineman, which frees up Steed, who makes the play on the quarterback. Just third down opportunities that Bama had. Third and 17 for Thorne. Does have time, but goes underneath, and well short of it is Trey Mosley. Barringer skies this inside the 10. That's a beauty all the way back to the one-yard line. What a punt by Barringer, and Stevenson fielded it at the one-yard line. A 56-yard punt for the Spartans. Flag is down back at the 42-yard line. It can get real on the edges. Harris, keep the first man in the backfield, and then motors ahead for three yards and a first down. So the breathing room right away. This is already considered, as crazy as it sounds, a successful drive for the offense. Four-man rush against King, and they get to him. Flag comes down as he was taken down by Drew Beasley. Really diligent in your pass rush lane, so you're going to see one guy rush high, the other guy's going to rush low. That way, when De'Eric King feels that pressure over the top and he steps up, he's actually stepping up right into the defender. Third and 11, let's see how they protect King. King with time, but he's going to check down. Harris squares up the shoulders, but he couldn't stay in. And the Canes will be punting away to the Spartans. Five yards per punt net. Will be kicking away to Jaden Reed. And this is a wobbler, a knuckler, and a fair catch made at the 37-yard line. Coupled with some of the veteran players they have, especially along the line of scrimmage, both offensively and defensively, it's been a really good mix. Second and nine. And they have a good feel for the protections today. Manny Diaz dialing up another pressure that overloads that Michigan State protection. Now play it conservative with Walker as he is chopped down and on his first kick of the day. See if he can sky this as a high snap able to get it down. And he drives it. And Stevenson with the fair catch inside the 20. Quick strike, and it's incomplete. Surprised Harley couldn't hold on to it. A veteran guy who's reliable, who ranks eighth all-time in career receptions. And a good, positive play on first and ten. And now a quick strike to go back to Hunt. And his helmet comes off, so he will trot off the field. Walker, look at the hole he has. Kenneth Walker. 
Walker inside the 30, inside the 25, and Michigan State is in business. Stevenson finally tracked him down. And just washing everything down, and Walker bending it all the way back, finding that cutback lane, and he finds a lot of green. Keep an eye on these two linebackers. Thorne being chased. Thorne's going to tuck, and he's going to strive for that line to gain. Third and five. Walker straight ahead, just two yards on third down. This is short attempt. High snap is put down, and it goes through. Team played a good part because he was able to go back to Houston for a couple months and be there with his mother, be there with his brother. And so he said he took that time to really emotionally support those two individuals in his life, but yes, that heart attack was unexpected. Most individuals would never have to go through. And now he's finding a rhythm, and here goes Rambo. Third and seven for King. And Rambo shakes free again. Charleston Rambo and Miami's in business. Touchdown. If I'm Miami, man, I'm just pounding it right now. Big running back between the tackles. King, quarterback run, near side. Can he find something? No, he is wrapped up. Good job down the line by Michigan State. And flex out the tight ends on third and two. Sprint right, looking to the end zone. King goes to the back of the end zone, but overthrows the intended target. He's going for it on fourth and two, Diaz and Lashley. King going to test the other side. To the end zone, he goes. Was that easy? Rambo was just standing there like a tin man with his heels at the back of the end zone and said, Thank you very much. Touchdown, Canes. Just beautiful patience by De'Eric King. This is the same play, a little sprint right option. You want to hit that guy in the front right of the end zone, but Michigan State does a good job of taking in the friendly confines on the plane. So it's going to be huge for him to keep his cool, stay in the moment, and lean on that potent rushing attack. Quickly to the outside. Mosley gets free. Trey Mosley's going to turn it on and finally be chased down. Jump play, Sparty. Yeah, just easy as can be. A little bubble to the field and bad tackling by the Hurricanes on the perimeter. How about Mosley, though, showcasing that speed? Bottom of the receivers at the bottom don't know the play. They keep looking back at their quarterback. Thorns directing traffic goes across the grain, which is always dangerous. He was looking for Speedy Naylor, and that ball finally went to the turf. Coughlin, a 39 yard attempt. And that leaks to the right. And ice water putting it around his neck. These guys are hot on the sideline. Something we will continue to monitor the conditions down at field level. Michigan State is baking on the far side. King went 14 yards to Harley. Now he wants more than that. And going up and getting it is Harley again. Helplessness of Harley here. Knowing that there's a safety coming that might just clean him out. And my goodness. Harris. He cuts back. And that'll be another first down for Miami. Michigan State team is feeling the heat, literally and figuratively. Right now, Miami in a really nice rhythm offensively. It's not what any of us want. First down, King to the end zone. He goes. And the flag will come out at the end of that play as Kimbrough had coverage on Keyshawn Smith. First and goal, Canes. Harris out of the backfield, well defended. That was well played by Darius Snow. Really like are those safeties, man. They're instinctive. They diagnose and they close. Jump ball, maybe you get another pass interference. Third and goal, gonna check down to Harris. And Harris will be swarmed and another penalty comes in. All of a sudden this thing is getting choppy. Two minutes remaining against App State. And he cannot connect here. They showed some heart by finishing the way they did. 
Walker on second and ten. Walker gets to the edge. This kid has shown something since transferring over from Wake Forest. Everybody that's playing on is like, man, this guy's faster than I realized. The angles that people take against him just aren't great. Completely different team this year with athleticism and good leadership on both lines of scrimmage. So Jay Johnson, offensive coordinator, up in the booth. And play calling's easy when you can give it to this guy. Kenneth Walker does it again on second and six, moves the chains. Bolden finally tracked him down. And once again, I mean, just how about the cutback by Walker? I mean, it's a thing of beauty. You look at the Miami players that are rushing inside and nobody's home on the outside. And Walker finds that space. Second and five. Quickly getting it to Naylor. Speedy Naylor. Named perfectly, isn't he? To the outside and a burst. Hitchens had to run him down. To the right side. Simmons the running back, and Simmons struggles to get back to the line of scrimmage. He's matched up with Pouch, third and goal. Walker into the end zone. Kenneth Walker, do it all, he did it all. Every which way, running the ball, and now a six-yard touchdown catch. Just a great job by Walker, jumping leverage to the flat, breaking a tackle, and finding pay dirt. Just an unbelievable job there, as Corey Flagg had an opportunity to bring it. Third and four. One man rush, King. Easy completion again to Rambo. What a first half Charleston Rambo is having. Rambo's gonna rack up a bunch of targets if they keep playing that defensive look. King on first down. King wants more than just the hits, but it is picked off. Sensational stop by Sparty. Interception by Angelo Gross. And this is just rock and roll of the safeties right here. De'Eric King's a veteran guy. He's got to see that because it's clear as day what those safeties are looking at. I mean, they're watching De'Eric King's eyes. His eyes are to the right the entire time. The free safety can just fly right out underneath it. That is stealing because it also is in the air far too long. If you're trying to throw a seam route, it's got to be between 18 and 22 yards. That time, more like 25 to 28 yards. That free safety is going to be all over it immediately. Thorne setting up the screen, does so to Hayward, and Connor Hayward now is rumbling towards midfield. And there's a man crashing into the face of Peyton Thorne, and a flag comes in. Six penalties for 53 yards. Walker tackled for a loss. Driven back, Corey Flat coming straight in that middle linebacker and taking down Thorne. Job by Flag. His eyes are in the backfield the whole time. You're going to see him. This is called a green dog, which means as soon as no one's blocking him, he's got the green light. Go ahead. As you see Thorne step up, Flag recognizes that and closes quickly. That's a great job by the linebacker. Mixing run pass and being balanced, and you're going to be all right throughout the rest of this game. Harris, first down run, and it's a good one. And now the comeback year off the torn right ACL. Second and 10, complete, Smith, and he gets it to the 49-yard line. Nine seconds on the clock. King, incomplete. Trying to get it to Harley. I've never been there. It's a bucket list. Well, you've been in the Iron Bowl. They're, you know they're in about. Iowa are bucket list for me, but it's going to be awesome tonight. I can't wait to watch it. Last chance in the first half. And incomplete. They're going to be in for a long day with what that running back's capable of. He will get the work to start off this second half, and he's got another big play as he's weaving throughout that Miami defense. 19 yards for Walker. And how about the cutback again? As you see the defender there for Miami, Mari Carter, overplaying it. And then there in the third level, there's nobody home for Miami as he just dances his way to a beautiful... Rambo's to the bottom of your screen. King looks to the top. 
drives the ball there and it's incomplete. Smith couldn't hold on to it. They've really done a good job of flying around and taking away what Miami does best. They move heavily on. Punt and they try to get after it. And the flag comes down as heavily as on the ground. They came crashing into him. Third down and five. King trying to extend the play. Trying to get to the edge, but he is taken down. Number 94, six foot four Australian puncher on the punt away. Where's that 94? Because the Rock wore 94 back in the day. Reed, fair catch. Of course, Katie, Lou Headley has a college football bio like no other. I'm going to try to throw it over Miami's head. It's a play caller's dream. But instead, they keep it on the ground with Walker, and again, they move the chain. They're almost doing Miami a favor. Second and ten. Thorne had a man right in his face, but was able to get it complete to Reed. And Reed with the spin and a first down. That play was near disaster, and Thorne and Reed made magic. He's got the presence from McLeod there immediately. Got to get the ball out so quick. And he wears it, too. And how about the run after catch by Reed? Just a thing of beauty from the outstanding wide receiver. Second and ten. They go inside to Hayward. Former running back, son of Ironhead. Like a freight train for Michigan State. Serving the ball. This will be a big drive with a three-point lead halfway through third. And it's Walker. He continues to break tackles, and he's inside the 20-yard line for the Spartans. Well, this backdoor cut over and over and over again. It's probably the fourth or fifth time he's found it. Or the fourth or fifth time he's had a huge gain as well. For Thorne and the Spartans offense. And look at this. Michigan State. How about the quarterback? How about the play call? Pitch and catch, and Naylor takes it to the house. Michigan State's going to start challenging them at the line of scrimmage. Okay. To the other side, and in doing so, is able to get it complete to Smith. And goes over there on the sideline. First down, King. And he gets it complete for another first down to D. Wiggins. For now, it's a third and nine. Pressure off the edge. It'll pick it up. Now King tries to extend, and it's a dragging to the right and complete for a first down to Brinson. Good job on the scramble drill. King escapes for the moment and then gets it complete. And here is Rambo. As Rambo has it inside the 15-yard line. Miami knocking on the door, and here's a view of that third down conversion from our AT&T 5G Skycam. You're going to see this guy go across, and two Miami players are basically going to, going to try to pick up that linebacker. Well, in comes the wrapper right around. When you have two going to one, you have a bust up front clearly, and Beasley's able to force De'Eric King. Let's see if they drop out. King to the end zone. How about this throw? Woo! Oh, oh. Tight window? Yeah, I'll put it right through it. Thread the needle. Look at that. And as you see the safety coming over the top, Angelo Gross. Hayward and Walker in the backfield for Michigan State on third and three. Walker with Hayward blocking in front. And he will have a good surge ahead for the first down. Looking for a big stop on third and 13. Shallow cross is incomplete. Reed was the intended target. Tyreek Stevenson back. Perringer's fifth punt of the day. He's had two inside the 20. He's looking for three. And Stevenson with pretty nifty return that gets him out to the 25. Far side of the field, there is a flag down at the 33-yard line. It's Miami sensing just a bit of momentum as we start the fourth quarter. They trail by three at home to the Spartans team. Smith with the reception. 
from De'Aaron King. First play of the fourth quarter. Flag comes in. You saw Rhett Lashley right there on the sideline saying, can we please have the flag there? King on first down. Live ball out there. Bouncing around. And the Spartans have it. The ball traveling forward. Oh, it is. But is it going forward is the other question. So obviously, if the ball's still in the hand as he initiates Replay the throw. The call on the field. Fumble. First down. It Michigan looks State. as though the ball is going forward, but it's still traveling backwards. So it's essentially a lateral. And how about Beasley right here as he beats Nelson around the edge? And Sparty's defense making a huge play right when they started to feel as though they were losing some serious momentum. They step up. With his butt on, high motor kind of guy. He delivered there. And now they go underneath trying to get it to Speedy Naylor. And that goes nowhere. It was read well by Bubba Bolden. to a TD. Big swing moment for Sparty. This quarterback, look at the timing. Three-step hitch, know exactly where you're going with the football, and then you body up that wide receiver. You put it right in the middle of his body. Third down, a couple plays later, touchdown. Just huge. King, a lot of time. Nothing there. And then finally was taken down. Second 12, and then rush against King. Is underneath to his tight end. Will Mallory, who makes a man miss and had to hold on to that football once he was tackled by Crouch, but it's a first down for the Canes. Harris. And Harris is going to stretch out for that line to gain. Halliday with the tackle. So fourth down. Fourth and one. King. Dives ahead easily, gets the first down, just launches his body ahead. To wonder if it had an impact on the accuracy of that throw. Third and ten. King. Across the grain between three defenders looking for Rambo. It's incomplete. 55-yard attempt to try to cut it to a touchdown margin. Like it was nothing. Second and one. Met in the backfield was Walker. That was Jared Harrison Hunt who gets the tackle for loss. And he's coming on, man. This is going to be a guy you need to know moving forward. Big number 81, Harrison Hunt. Thorne to pass. Third and six, going to tuck, run, get it with him. Look at Peyton Thorne pass midfield. Big play for Michigan State. Now you're going to see these rushers get past the quarterback. Now they're past the quarterback. And next thing you know, the Red Sea parts for Peyton Thorne. And he almost have got to have it for Miami's defense. Pitch to Walker. Runs there, happens, and look at Walker still surging ahead. I mean, they tied him up at the line of scrimmage. Fourth and one. Quarterback sneak, and let's see where they spot it. You can see Thorne reaching out and over. And this mark should give it to him. Let me put it right on that yellow line, the unofficial yellow line that we provide for you. Of course, Jack is older brother, right? Two-time All-American. Brian, his other brother, who's on the team. Thorne. but not on this play. A little stop and go. A little yada over the top. Put up the hand for the mailman. So just over four minutes to play. King. That is picked off every which way 
it's Spartans, and Ronald Williams jumps it. Interception, Michigan State. Hitch after hitch. Not this time. As Ronald Williams, he gave up a bunch on those hitches, but he makes him pay on the last one, undercutting it, and making a great interception to put this thing on ice. Another one of those transfers. He started his career. Walker, as he gets free, is inside the 10. He's over 160 yards today. Kevin. And then comes down here to Miami, and he goes for 172. Here's Reed looking for a block in front, getting to the edge, getting to the goal line. And now the Spartans are just pouring it on. Just a great job around the edge by Hayward leading the charge, securing the outside shoulder. And Reed scores an easy touchdown. Right. Nothing to be ashamed of. We've seen that before. Struggling with App State and having to fight and be resilient to get a late win against App State. They got to go back to the drawing board because this got sideways in a hurry. Harris on fourth down. Final minute and a half here in Miami. On the other side, you look at this Michigan State team, and you say, who knows? Are they the X Factor in a now wildly intriguing Big Ten? The delay, slow mesh down there at Wake Forest. He comes to Michigan State, and he's dynamic now. Right. I mean, he's putting up stats that are incredible. Smith with the catch to make it 38 to 17. An upset win on the road. Good, solid, defining win for this ascendant Michigan State team. 38-17. Folks are 3-0.